The Things We Do for Love Written by O. Henry As a boy, Joe Larrabee was famous in the town in Middle America where he lived because he could paint beautifully. At 20, he went to study in New York. Delia Carruthers was from the South and played music wonderfully as a girl. When she was 18, her family paid for her to study in New York. Joe and Delia met one day in the big city, fell in love, and soon after got married. They went to live in a little flat far from the center. Joe studied painting with Mr. Magister, and Delia studied music with Mr. Rosenstock. They were very happy while their money lasted. But soon they couldn't pay for more classes with Magister and Rosenstock, who were expensive. So Delia said she would give music lessons to get some money. After two days, she came home excitedly. I've found a student. She said. Her name's Clementina. She's General A. B. Pinkney's daughter. They live in a wonderful, big house on 71st Street. Clementina's only 18, wears white, and is a lovely girl. I'm going to give her three lessons a week, for five dollars each. Just think. When I get more students, I can go back to Rosenstock. I can't let you do all the work. Said Joe. I must get a job too, even if it's only selling newspapers in the street. Oh, no, Joe. Replied Delia. You mustn't stop your classes with Magister. All right. Said Joe. I really don't like you giving lessons. It isn't art. But you're a dear to do it. When you love your art, nothing is too hard. Said Delia softly. Well, Tinkle said that I could put some of my pictures in his window. Perhaps I'll sell one to a rich old man one of these days. I'm sure that you will. Said Delia. That Saturday, she put $15 on the small table in the middle of their small sitting room. Clementina's terrible. She said. She never studies, never listens to me, and always wears white, which gets boring after a while. But the general's a nice, friendly man. Just then, Joe put $18 on the table. I sold a picture today to a fat man from Arizona. He said. He saw it in Tinkle's window. He doesn't really understand art, but he wants another picture of a train station before he goes home. Oh, I'm so happy that you didn't stop painting. Said Delia. And now we have $33. What a lot of money! We can have a really good dinner tonight. The next Saturday evening, Joe got home first. He put $18 on the table and washed what looked like black paint from his hands. Then Delia came home. Her hand had some white cloth around it and her face was dark with worry. What happened? Asked Joe. Oh, Clementina wanted a hot cheese sandwich in the middle of her lesson. Strange girl. Unluckily lots of hot cheese fell onto my hand and hurt it terribly. The general was very worried and sent someone from downstairs to buy some things to put on it. But now it doesn't hurt so much. Then she saw Joe's money on the table. Did you sell another picture? Yes, to the man from Arizona. But what time did you hurt your hand? It was five o'clock when the iron... I mean, when the cheese burnt me. Sit down, Delia. Said Joe kindly. And tell me where your money really comes from. Delia began crying. I couldn't find any music students. She said. So I took a job in the big laundry on 24th Street. 
I told you stories about the general and Clementina to stop you feeling bad about my work. Then today, another girl at the laundry put a hot iron on my hand, and I thought of that hot cheese story on the way home. Please don't be angry. But how did you find out that my stories weren't true? Well, said Joe. At five o'clock I had to send up some oil and cloth for a woman in the laundry upstairs after she burnt her hand on an iron. I'm working downstairs in the engine room. I started there two weeks ago. So you didn't really sell? My buyer from Arizona and your General Pinkney are both works of art but not really music or painting. They both laughed. When you love your art, nothing began Joe. But Delia put her hand over his mouth to stop him. No. She said. It's just when you love.